I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Friday September the 10th brought to you in part by Vitalix increase feed efficiency decrease feed costs improve conception rates increase average daily gain and increase weaning weights get the blue tub go to vitalix.com mandatory vaccines for the second day in a row we had uh, some pretty bold language coming from uh, Mr. Magoo administration and uh, President Biden said that his patience has run out now you guys can no longer let these calves run around unvaccinated enough is enough you've got to have vaccines in these calves we, we've, we've been telling you for years you got to have them vaccinated but uh, enough's enough now uh, if you don't have your calves vaccinated you're not going to be able to sell them in fact if you've got over a hundred head of calves uh, you've got to have them vaccinated or you're going to incur a penalty and he's going to fine you right there it's okay if they're if they're unweaned and and they have to live off of you and they require uh, you know every bite of feed that you give them and they want to stay with their mothers and and uh, don't want to go out and get a job or anything like that he'll continue to send them money and they don't have to get out and work even though there's uh, all kinds of uh, help wanted signs posted uh, every which way you go and we can't get anybody to do anything but you have got to have your calves back wait no that was for people okay that would be a bold statement on cattle but no this is for human beings that he said that so okay now scratch that sorry about that that's about people so uh, all you people got to get out there and get vaccinated like you're a bunch of animals but he did have strong language uh, on Wednesday uh, and uh, talking about how he's had enough of, of this uh, Packer consolidation it didn't come from him of course because he couldn't say that many words all together at once so uh, he they just sent that out in a statement but uh, uh, he's gonna he's gonna fix this because all this inflation due to free money that's been given away and printed and sent out it's amazing how if you continue to print money and give it away then the money is worth less uh, you know two-day-old monkey could figure that out but this inflation is only due to the higher meat prices it, other than that hell we're fine everything's no big deal and and I tell you what this strong language that the Biden administration has sent out has got these Packers running scared about like the Taliban is running scared in Afghanistan but I tell you what we've gotten to a ridiculous point uh, right here and I don't know I mean or eight months into this thing we're going down the toilet and we've got a long way to go and I don't know how in the heck we're going to stand it just imagine where we're at in eight months how far could we be down in four years let's talk about your board on Thursday and by the way I'm coming to you from Minnesota good you Minnesota at the Cannon Valley Ranch Bruce and Leon Wall's place right here uh, the hospitality has been out of this world good people everywhere uh, gave a presentation uh, at the the Dorn farm there and uh, Zombrota Minnesota had a great turnout there a lot of good fellowship a lot of good people visiting a lot of people uh, learning more about what's going on in this cattle industry and in the beef industry and uh, just glad to be up here and, and met a lot of new friends and a lot of feeder flash watchers and and we basically had a feeder flash gang rally here in uh, in uh, eastern Minnesota but I uh, really enjoyed my time up here and, and uh, met all these good people going to be going to Lanesboro to the special feeder cattle auction that they're having on Friday before I fly back to Texas but uh, tell you what like I said good people everywhere Talk about the board on Thursday. October live cattle futures up 65 cents at 123.75. December up 15 at 128.80. Go on your back months of your live cattle down 77 to up just two cents. But really, your board's not able to hold any ground that it gains. Uh, you know, we saw some bigger gains early, faded off. Feeder cattle can't seem to hold any gains at all. September feeder cattle down 30 cents at the end of trading on Thursday at 155.75. A 
October down two cents at 159 a quarter and a lot of negativity out on the front end uh, or way in the back months I should say uh, just not able to hold those those lofty values that they had been posting all summer but down 20 cents to down a buck 27 uh, you know even your grains and uh, you know we've seen a lot of trouble uh, getting this grain exported due to the river uh, being clogged up uh, in Mississippi River because of Ida the storm there and a lot of those uh, export outlets were kind of clogged up there and it's lost quite a bit of ground this week right as we're getting started on uh, on harvest there but uh, December new crop corn on Thursday down a quarter at 510 and we haven't seen it that low pretty much all summer long how about your fat cattle trade Look at these pictures I took from the Dorn Beef Farm there, Zombroda, Minnesota. I uh, got some good uh, fat cattle there, farmer feeder, uh, does some custom feeding, feeds his own cattle and buys a few cattle to feed there, but uh, enjoyed my tour there and, and just the hospitality uh, all over this part of the country for Three Rivers Cattlemen's, and I appreciate everybody that was involved. Your fat cattle confirmed sales on Thursday. Iowa had 2,900 head confirmed. Only 10,500 head for the week, and that's pretty light for Iowa. But uh, live sales mostly steady with last week from 124 to 127. Dress sales down hard again, about two bucks lower for the most part on your dress sales. And the Iowa confirmed dress sales were 197 to 198 on Thursday. Nebraska, about 8,000 head confirmed on Thursday, 18,300 head for the week. Uh, similar sales as Iowa, live sales 124 to 126, which is mostly steady. Dress sales down 198 to $2 even. Kansas uh, had 2,100 head confirmed on Thursday, 9,700 head for the week, not too much. 123 was the only confirmed price that I saw. I did hear rumors, several rumors of 124 trade in Kansas, but they didn't come through uh, your mandatory price reporting. I don't know if they didn't get them in. It seems like that's happening more often now. But uh, of the 2100 head uh, confirmed on Thursday, 9700 head for the week. Look at your negotiated grid turn in so far for the week, 10,300 head. Now, when's the last time that you've seen Kansas have ne more negotiated grid sales than they did negotiated sales? I'm telling you guys, these Packers are turning in more negotiated grid sales. Now, what was the negotiation? We never heard of any bids. We never heard of any trade out there. How was the, how was the negotiated grid for you? It wasn't too good for the market. I'm telling you what, that's the way they're going to try to get around any of these mandated minimum negotiated sales bills that we get pushed through and I wouldn't doubt we don't get one pushed through here pretty quick also got that uh, bill up for mandatory cool they're going to try to get around it some way or another and I don't care what your Biden administration says we don't have any USDA auditors through Packers and Stockyards or Audit Review and Compliance that's got the balls to go in there and find out what these Packers are doing. But they're, they're going to try to get around it through negotiated grid where there's no negotiation. Texas didn't have any confirmed sales on Thursday, only 5,800 head for the week. Yet they turned in negotiated grid sales of 6,000 head so far this week. Now who turns out, when's the last time you heard of Texas having more negotiated grid than they had regular negotiated? Never. 6,000 head negotiated grid. I bet that was an interesting trade. My ass. Box beef cutout values. Lower again and a little bit more than it has been so far this week. Choice cuts 332.58 down 228. Select down 172 at 296.45. Your slaughter uh, so far for the week through Thursday, of course we had the Monday holiday, 365,000 compared to a year ago this week with the holiday, 366, so down just 1,000 and we could have a bigger Saturday this Saturday and, and we could uh, uh, overshadow a year ago. Your actual slaughter information come in for the week ending August the 28th, 901 pound average dressed steer carcass weight actually come down a little bit. They've been going up, but back down two pounds from the previous report. Uh, what else is going on? 
Western video market out there in California. You know that we work with them readily and they've got a bunch of these uh, bull sales coming up. They've got horse sales coming up. They've got a big Western video market uh, feeder cattle video sale coming up here early next week. Uh, Friday, this Friday here today, Tehama Angus in Gerber, California is having their big uh, production sale. You can get on to dvauction.com view and bid that sale right there that's a that's a real uh, high reputation outfit then kind of take a little break over the weekend this next tuesday coming up here early this next week western video markets got their big haythorn ranch sale uh, near ogallala nebraska got a lot of reputation strings on there be sure and get on there at wvmcattle.com or dvauction.com view and bid the Haythorn Ranch sale with Western Video Market. Then come back uh, uh, a couple days after that. Next Thursday, Rancho Casino del Porto in Denaire, California. Uh, that's a reputation outfit, uh, dvauction.com for that production sale through Western Video Markets. And then uh, Friday, they got the big Mid Valley sale at Modesto Junior College. And then uh, a week from this Saturday, Saturday the 18th, got the Legacy Ranch Horse Sale. Don't miss those sales through Western Video Markets and dvauction.com. How about your feeder cattle market? In your sale barns on Thursday, real-time index on DV Auction. Late on Thursday, 154.44, down 81 cents. It's been down pretty hard all week here. Uh, I don't know if it's so much that your yearling feeder cattle are lower as we're just getting more bigger strings of big feeding calves that, that are heavy enough you can't do anything else with them. They're sneaking in the, to that seven to 899 pound index range right there and, and you see that evident in your big sales on Thursday. On Thursday, uh, winter livestock, Pratt, Kansas, 2400 head there. The yearling feeder steers weighing over 800 pounds, two to four bucks higher. Big feeding calves, four to five dollars lower. They're just not as, they may be more attractive to look at, guys, but they got more flesh on them and they're not going to feed anywhere near like those grass yearlings uh, are going to feed and have been feeding since they've been coming off the Flint Hills there. But they did have a stick out deal of feeding calves there. Some fancy 64 head, 688 pound steer calves in Pratt, Kansas, bring 170 50. How about farmers and ranchers livestock, Salina, Kansas, 1900 head there, yearling feeders higher, feeder calves lower, just like we figured they should be. How about Mitchell livestock, 3400 head there. They called that market mostly steady, didn't have the best test with last week, but how about a stick out deal in Mitchell, South Dakota? 70 head, 909 pound feeder steers, bring 161.75. You know we've got a lot of these early springborn calves coming to market uh, because of the drought out there in the northern plains and, uh, and they're getting them in Belfouche, South Dakota, Belfouche livestock market. Look at these long strings of three to four hundred, three and four weight steer calves there. I mean that's significant. You don't normally get big droves of three and four, and four weight steer calves coming in there. Tell you what guys, by October the calf run is going to be over in the northern plains. Uh, you know it's, it's a drought out sale, it's a fire sale literally. They're still bringing a big price but some of you guys uh, further to the east may want to get an order in there instead of putting together little deals of these light three and four weight calves. You might want to buy a string of them and not have as much problem with them and then come back and sell them as yearlings in the spring uh, and, they'll, and they'll bring a hell of a lot more money. But included in these three and four weight steer calves, these peewees, 123 head, 412 pound little steer calves in Belfouche, South Dakota at $2.20 a pound. How about a big quote out of Billings Livestock Commission in Billings, Montana? 62 head, 764 pound steers bring 170.50. But I'll tell you where they got corn is out in Illinois in the Eastern Corn Belt. And you can see it from the quotes out there at Fairview, Illinois sale barn. They had a smoking sale that just went off and left everybody else. 
and and you look at these local farmer feeders in the eastern corn belt what they're willing to pay for yearling feeder cattle ray poston had uh, loads of steers in there 62 head 849 pound steers in fairview illinois bring 173.50 that's your feeder flash for friday